Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flix, and I'm back again. I am now working on Branch, uh, the character from um, <laughs> the Trolls. Uh, what I did on this one, though, I cut them out, and I'm just going to show you what I do when I have to piece them together because they're too big to fit on my mat because <clears throat> these are two footers. This is how I have him cut out. I cut along his hairline in one ear because it's too wide. My mat is only 12 inches wide. And if I would have cut the entire piece with the ear, it's the flip side. Oh, I just shot those on the floor. Um, it would have been wider than 12 inches and I wouldn't be able to turn it. It's really hard to find fit it on the mat. If I cut it off with one ear, I can turn this on the mat and squeeze it in so it's 12 inches uh, across. I hope that makes sense. Like from here to here, let's say this is 11 inches, so I have room to cut it like that. If it had the ear on it, there's no way for me to turn it any any direction and get it to fit on the mat. I feel like I just dropped some, and I did, I found it. I found it, guys. Um, and then what I do is along the hairline here, is actually a piece I just make, again, this is only going to make sense to those of you that use the silhouette. I make a rectangle and I make it about an inch or two wide and then however long I need it here. I may actually make it deeper. I put it so that it reaches from here to here because these are the, these are the points where I cut off his head I slide that rectangle underneath and then I take my knife and I cut it in a curve making a five inch tab to glue his head on. On the camera you can't see very well where the hair ends and the tab starts. In person I can see it. I just color this tab the color of the hair so when I put it on with the seam you're not going to see any white in there. which. You know, if I make it white, I've done that before too. It doesn't matter, but he's not going to have a headband or anything on. So I want to make sure he matches. Then what I'm going to do is see here he is. He only can hear out of one ear. Let's get him together so he's got his hearing back. I'm going to, I don't want to send this stuff flying. Tape together. I taped just a little bit ago and did poppy. And I was talking about how hot it is in our weather. And in Wisconsin, it changes every five minutes because now it's storming outside and um, a warning's coming out for severe thunderstorm. <laughs> Before it was just hot and sunny and now it's storming. And this is all the same day. Okay, I'm gonna match it up here. And you know what? There's a little white here showing. I don't like, well, you know what I'm going to do? That little bit of white showing. I'm going to grab one of my distress inks. This is white core paper and the core is showing and I don't want that. So I'm going to take my distress inks with Tim Holtz and I'm just going to slide it along the top of this head where it's showing white because I don't want that white line to show. Again, he's not gonna have a headband or anything on, so I don't want it to show. So I'm just gonna rub it along the top where he is seamed together. There's a little curve here that I'm hardy, having a hard time getting my, there we go. And whoops, I forgot to have the tape on there. Now it's not gonna show because I covered that white up. You know, those are ink pads that I've had. I, I have all the inking stuff that you need for doing accent and things like that, and I never use it. And I'm trying to find use for everything because I hate wasting materials. So that's kind of been a mission for me. So like my kids say, or my daughters, I should say, not my sons. I could never come in here, but... Uh, or wouldn't know a lot of stuff from little stuff. They wouldn't know. Anyway, um, trying to make sure I use everything I have. There we go. And there's not a white line that there would have been had I put him together 
without, oops, he's got a tab here on this side that doesn't belong there. I didn't cut him out completely. There we go. Let's see, he doesn't have as much white showing, but I'm just gonna ink it to be sure. Oops! Oopsie daisy. That is something right there. And I can't get in there. So I'm going to grab one of my little ink sponges that I can fit in. I couldn't fit that square into the where it was curved here. So these are my blending pads for my inks. So now there's no white core showing. Alrighty, and let's attach him. Let's attach his head. Alright. And I'm just following the curve of the cut with my tape. Okay. And come on. Match up here for me. There we go. And turn that in. Got it. Now what I'm going to do is I have taken some eucalyptus leaves. He's got a vest on of some sort of a plant, a leaf or whatever. To me, it, it has the shape of a eucalyptus leaf. So that's what I'm going to put on there. However, um, the eucalyptus leaves are substantially larger on this size, and he's a two-footer. If I put one there, it covers, it, it about covers his whole vest with one leaf. So I took all these leaves and I cut them up. I cut them smaller. And I'm going to attach them using my um, gloss accents again. I've got my, my hot glue gun all um, hot and ready to go, but I don't want to be dripping glue all over. So I'm going to take and attach them using glossy. Glossy accents is used a lot as a glue. I don't because glue, I don't use it a lot as glue because it is a lot more expensive than using glue. But it is what I have here that is handy. So that is what I'm going to use. I'm layering these just like his jacket is. And the ones that are going along the side over here, well, I'll show you when I get to it. I'm gonna have to square them off, or cut them off on the sides, which I meant to do that on these. That's okay. That's okay. You still get the, you get the gist of it. Oops, I need to come up here, whoop, lid off up here. And I think I'll be able to get maybe two in there. There's a little one I cut. And then over here where his vest is open, I'm going to take and put some pieces in that I cut off. That's not how I wanted them, though. I did want them going this way. This is just part of his vest, so I'm going to lay these little cut-off pieces in because his vest is cut off there. Alrighty, and these were really fun cutting, too. A lot of times when people make comments about, about you know, I don't know what I want to say without sounding. A lot of folks don't know when they want decorations. Um, 
what goes into making them. It isn't something that takes five minutes because I'm only filming once I already have it ready. I didn't film the printing and cutting out or any of that. I just filmed once I was had everything ready. Uh, it takes a long time, uh, a lot longer. If, if I actually sold things for the time that I put into them, um, I would have to just close my shop. I do it because I love it, but it takes a lot of time, depending on if you're, how much detail you want to put into it. But when I have the time, I thoroughly want to put as much in detail as I can into them. Let me do these here. All oh, these leaves on them are so cute. I don't know why I didn't think to do these earlier on pieces I've done. I'm going to cut this one off. That's uh, along his arm because this is behind his arm. So I'm going to take another one and I'm going to cut it off and lay it behind his arm. Then I'll take a little piece that's already cut and cut that off. And this piece, I think I'll cut off just a little tiny bit. And there we go, around the neck. There we go. Now he's got his vest done. And before I close this one up to go on to the next, let me burp it. And I am going to end up showing on a separate video the bases I do for them because I am going to do them different than, than I ever have. Uh, for him, let me see if I have some blue eyes. I didn't even look. I don't know if I have any blue eyes. I'm going to dump them on his head here and see. Oh, here's a, here's a blue. Here's a blue. I do have blue eyes. Let me see if I have two blue eyes. Oh, but I'm going to need four because he's double-sided. Here's another one. They have to be the same size, too. I don't want him looking all goofy with two different sized eyes. So, guys, guys, I need one more blue. Come on, come on. Well, these are bigger, but if I use a little... Oh, here's what I need. There we go. I can do them. They almost look like um, glossy eyes. They almost look like they have the accent, accent essentials on them. Oh, that was... Oh, man. Well, I'll get them afterwards. I dropped a bunch of them on the floor. And let's see how much more stuff I... Ooh, there's some thunder coming, guys. Thunder, it's one of my favorite songs to work out to by um, Dragon, whatever Dragon. I work out to their music and I love the beat of it because it really gets me swinging hard. I'm so sore now because I went to the gym, somebody doing the challenge for a pull up doing a pull-up, which I haven't done. I don't know if I've ever done in my life, but I'm working on now, and I went and did it. I went and did it before my actual class, and then in my class, the main focus was on um, our arms with weights, and I had just done, and it wasn't real smart to do that before going to class, but so I'm really sore today. My coach told me that uh, I can't uh, cut back because I worked out. I really need to use my normal weights instead of lightening them, even though I worked out. And I thought, well, that's real easy for you to say. But I told them to push me because I had a tendency to take the easy route out. 
so they push me. My thighs, my legs, everything hurts. Okay, I'm going to use, instead of using glitter on him, I'm going to be using Liquid Pearls, also by Ranger. Um, but I don't want the glitter, I want the Liquid Pearls. So, and, and I think I'm gonna outline this, oh, I'm like, what keeps sticking to me? This does. Oh, I must not have had my stuff up there. Yeah, these are all on. I must not have put this up here. Let's try that again. I think I'm going to go around his eyes. I really like the Ranger Liquid Pearls. Uh, to my surprise, they don't clog. And they're really smooth and silky to work with. I really, really like them. I'm going to fill in his eyebrows with that. And I'll show you. Um, my scrunched up face is I. I'm going to kind of make them a little bumpy. Not terribly bumpy, but a little bit. Because they're eyebrows. And this is another one that I had ordered these. I found them on sale or something at scrapbookpal.com. So I ordered every color because I found that I liked using them. And then after I got them, I wasn't using them. So I am now. Okay, we got the eyebrows done. We're gonna do the glossy on the nose. I'm gonna do like I did on Poppy. I'm gonna unload, unload, outline the nose. Um, but I'm not gonna fill. I'm I'm not gonna fill. My husband's calling me. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I can't complain. Um, he was. He's making dinner. He totally forgot. I told him I'm going to be filming. He wanted to know if I wanted a salad. We're having burgers. This time of year, for some reason, burgers taste so good. Like, I don't know why they don't taste the same all the rest of the year. Just in summer to me. They're extra good. Okay. And again, I'm filling in not the whole solid nose. I'm only doing the dark shaded areas and then outlining the rest. Oh, I think I want to go in a little bit more here. And, oh, got it. Then I'm going to take liquid pearls. And on his shorts, I can't lift him up now, but on his shorts here, you can see a couple strings that are holding these patches in. I'm going to um, do those in liquid pearl. My granddaughter's trying to call me, but okay. Because I want these little strings to stick out. They're holding the, holding the patches on his bottoms. So I'm gonna do those. 
out of liquid pearls and then I'm going to outline his shorts. I thought I had another color brown here. I didn't answer the phone, so my granddaughter hung up and was calling my husband. Oh, there goes my dog. Do they not know I'm busy? Stop making noise. that and I just outlined his shorts but I'm going to do the patches in the uh, stickles the glitter in Holly it's the color of um, oh I don't know why I just went and put those back as I continue doing that because I need to do the other side I'm gonna do the patches in the glitter I'm going to color it in. My granddaughter was calling. I didn't answer the phone, so now she calls my husband. And by the tone and the way he's talking, she's asking for something he doesn't want to do. Okay, now I want to outline his body. Those are for the other guy. What color am I going to use? I think I'm going to use this waterfall yep that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to go along the side where i put these green elliptus eucalyptus you guys know what i mean and almost done with him then well except his other side see when the glitters are working and they're not clogging I absolutely love them they go on easy the bottles the one thing about the Nouveau that I don't like they don't clog as much however the they are a whole lot harder to squeeze um, to get the glitter out and I sound like a real pansy here, but if I'm doing a lot, a lot of glittering, my hand starts to get really sore from squeezing it. They're just, it's really hard to squeeze. Silly as that may sound, it is the truth. I can hold this up for you once I'm done because all the stuff on it is wet and I don't want it to drip. So I'm just gonna finish and show you where I'm using my glitter. I'm outlining him entirely and then just doing like inside his ears. I'm not, I'm gonna put a little bit here cause that was where he was cut. I didn't go all the way down. I just did a little bit where you see his fold of his cheek. Cause again, that's where I cut when I glitter over it. it no longer shows. So, oh, is he cute? Guys, I think he's adorable. But anyway, he's done. And again, I can't hold him up real upright because I don't want his nose to run down all over his face. But I will take pictures and you will see when he's all complete. Um, I better shut this off, put him down. Thank you for watching. And I hope I didn't get kicked off. I don't think I did. I can never find it on my phone though. And I always go down too low, then when I go back up, I go too high, and there it is. Everybody have a great weekend, bye-bye.